Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another horror movie night. Tonight, I will be reviewing Dr. Sleep, the director's cut, released in 2019. Written and directed by Mike Flanagan, based on the novel of the same name by Stephen King. Starring Ewan McGregor, Rebecca Ferguson, Kylie Curran, Carl Lumbly, Roger Dale Floyd, Zahn McLarnan, Emily Allen Lind, Jocelyn Donahue, Zachary Momo, Henry Thomas, and Alex Esso. Alright, so this is um, the long-awaited sequel to The Shining. And uh, I think Mike Flanagan uh, does a pretty good job on uh, this film. Um, I think the casting of Ewan McGregor as an older version of Danny Torrance was a pretty inspired casting there. And uh, his performance throughout this film is, is just uh, excellent. As is... Um, Roger Dale Floyd as young Danny in the flashback scenes throughout the film. He is much, much better in the role of Danny and is not annoying like Danny Lloyd was in the original Shining film. Um, and I really enjoyed uh, Carl Lumley as Dick Holleran. As you might have already saw in my review of The Shining, I was very disappointed that um, Dick was killed in that film. Um, so it was really cool to get to see uh, the character back. And uh, Carl Lumbly really does a good job um, channeling Scatman Crothers in his performance in here. Um, he, he really does feel like he's back in there. Um, really great job in his performance in this film. So I really enjoyed overall the whole Danny Torrance character in this, as well as um, Wendy Torrance in the flashbacks as well, played by Alex Esso. Um, she um, was, you know, had the enviable task of replacing Shelley Duvall, who um, just recently um, unfortunately passed away. Um, and I think she does a really good job of stepping in and filling, um, Shelley Duvall's shoes in this, even though she gets a little bit more limited screen time than what Carl Lumbly does as Dick. Um, her Wendy is very likable in the, as the character, and it's tragic what we see happens to her character in these flashbacks. Um, but... I love that. Uh, I love the new villain, Rebecca Ferguson. A lot of people have had issues with that. I thought Rebecca Ferguson as uh, Rose was excellent. Um, she's very sexy in the role, but she's also uh, very dangerous. And the sexiness hides her uh, danger of what she's really capable of in my opinion. So that's what makes her a really cool villain in this. And I like, and of course I liked Kylie Curran as Abra Stone. I mean, she was just so likable and so charismatic in there. And her charisma alongside Ewan McGregor was off the charts. I mean, they, they just work off each other really well. Um, as as did her parents, um, Lucy and Dave, uh, played by Jocelyn Donahue and Zachary Momo. Um, the parents were really good and, and likable as well in here. And once Ewan McGregor's Dan and Kylie Curran's Abra Stone go back to the um, Overlook Hotel, um, that's where you get a, what is, in my opinion, a very, very good performance by Henry Thomas. Um, as basically the bartender, but 
He doesn't look like the bartender from the original Shining. Instead, he looks like Jack Torrance. I mean, Henry Thomas looks and sounds pretty damn spot on to Jack Nicholson in this, of the way he looked and sounded in The Shining. So this was a well-done performance, um, and it really surprised me. I mean, it shouldn't have. I've seen, you know, Henry Thomas play in a lot of different roles, and he has never um, really let me down. So, um, quite a uh, thing for the kid that played Elliot in E.T. I never expected that from him. But, yeah, great job in that performance in there. I mean, overall, this film is a very good sequel to the Stanley Kubrick film, and in my opinion, I know I might get a lot of flack for this one, this statement, but in my opinion, Dr. Sleep, at least the director's cut, is leaps and bounds ahead of The Shining, and is a much better film than that one was. Um, I don't know about the novel that Stephen King wrote that Dr. Sleep is based on and whether or not this was, uh, you know, accurate to that novel, like I did with The Shining Out. I did know about that, but I don't know about this one. But uh, let me know in the comments down below whether or not, you know, Dr. Sleep, the film, was actually accurate to anything in the uh, actual um, Stephen King um, novel. But overall, I think... Dr. Sleep is a really, really great um, continuation of The Shining, and I can't recommend this movie enough. It is a very, very good film. Although the director's cut is a little bit too long, I believe, um, and maybe the whole, you know the theatrical cut was a little too long to begin with, too, but... Anyway, I think this film should be viewed by anyone who enjoyed or didn't enjoy the original, you know, Shining. Because, like I said, this film is, in my opinion, leaps and bounds above that film in some ways. So, check it out if you haven't already. I'm going to give this film a 9.2 out of 10. This was a damn good horror film, and uh, basically my only uh, issue with it was near the end when they had um, Dan um, turn evil for a slight bit of time, but thankfully they had him get out of that. But other than that, I think this film, and it being too long, um, I think this film is... Um, a breath of fresh air for uh, Shining fans. But have you seen this film? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know in those comments down below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. As a Dark Knight Fan Plus member, you have access to a uh, post that is on the channel right now in which you can submit a movie, TV show, or ranking video that you want me to do on the channel. And when I do that video, it'll go up on the plus area for all plus members to be able to view it before it ends up going live on the channel. So if you want to be interactive, now is your chance. Well, that's it for another horror movie night. If you missed last week's horror movie night video, you can check it out in the link above. Or if you have missed any of our videos on horror movie night, check out this playlist and you can check out anything that you've missed.